Hi, hi guys. Good morning. Um, now, the, today, uh, uh, one of the viewer asked me to see how this Pixel Pix Max will work in a more bright room or in a daytime in a sunny room. So I figured, like, instead of showing you guys a movie, which I think most of the people prefer to watch movie in a darker room, uh, well, what about showing you some of the its productivity, how it worked with perhaps presenting a PowerPoint. So now we're in a room that with all the blinds done, uh, it's kind of dim in a way that it's almost still look like a movie room. So before we try to uh, project our uh, PowerPoint, I've tried to plug in a USB drive with a PowerPoint file, but unfortunately the built-in apps on this PicoPix Max uh, cannot read the PowerPoint. It can read all kinds of video file, uh, even PDF file, but not a standard PowerPoint by Microsoft uh, Office software. So then, well, what what are we gonna do? So you know, let's see how it plugs and how it worked when we plug in with a laptop. To connect with a laptop, it's pretty easy actually. So it has a standard uh, HDMI port at the back of the machine. Now, if you uh, forgot where that port is, you can check out my first video on PicoPix Max. It shows you the layout of different ports on the machines. You plug it in one end and the other end plug it in uh, to your laptop. So I plug it in to, my, to the end of my laptop almost instantaneously. You don't need to change any setting. It would register your laptop. Uh, you know, depending on your laptop setting, it could be mirroring your main screen or it could be an extended screen. So you can change all these on your laptop. Now here I'm running a Windows 10, uh, Microsoft Windows 10. I believe Mac machines should work probably in a similar fashion. So I do, uh, pretty much I do PowerPoint presentation for a living. So I teach this in a university and almost every day I have to do a PowerPoint lecture. So let's take a look. So if that, if in some cases, like with, I don't have a projector it, to my disposal in a classroom, which is kind of unlikely, but what if it happened? Okay, I bring my projector to my class. I bring my laptop, I plug it in. So, well, pretend that and I'm presenting in a classroom. Now, it depending on your setting, and now I'm in a, in a duplicated screen and I start my presentation. Voila! Okay, so I, I teach medical microbiology just in you, you uh, if you wonder what I teach. Now, so here is uh, showing you it projecting uh, the text. It's very clear, uh, clearly, and you can see that even with some pictures, it has no problem showing, you know, uh, giving a uh, business type of a presentation. So here you get an idea how it works in a relatively dim room. Now next, let's see what if I pull up our my uh, blinds and how it will change the text. So I pull up my blind. Now today is a pretty bright day. I have a window right next to my projector wall here, and you can see that. You know, you can still see the text in some way, but definitely uh, the the visibility or the, the crisp of the, the picture decrease a whole lot. Now this is more, you know, perhaps more realistic environment when you're giving out a presentation in a conference room. Uh, so, you no, know, it will work, but not as good as you would hope for. Now this is not exactly, I don't think this is exactly the, uh, some, you know, a, a thing that should, you know, prohibit you to purchasing this unit if you are interested in this because honestly these type of a little pickle type of a projector this is uh, you know it, this is a common problem they don't have as much LED light built into the to the unit and with less light you know external lightning can decrease its uh, visibility and resolutions. Now here it's back to our main screen uh, of our Pickle Pick Max under the bright sunlight, uh, you can see you can like no, you can see the picture. It's not great. Not definitely not the environment for watching a great movie. Uh, so. You know, in conclusion, what I think is that productivity-wise, if you are bringing out to give a presentation on in a business project or even in a conference, uh, it is still pretty good 
option. So now, first of all, it is very portable. You know, it travels with ease and the connection is very easy. You don't need to do anything. Just plug it in right into your laptop and project right away. Of course, you can also project your movies from your laptop. So, you know, when you plug in a laptop, the, the, the possibilities are pretty much limitless. So uh, entertainment, business wise, and even for other, you know, typing, you know, video editing as well. So, you know, it will work in a dim room in a very bright room. It will not work just like any other Pico type of a projector so that is the common downsize for all these type of small projectors uh, that would I bring it to my conference yes I think so you know working with a laptop is pretty seamlessly now one feature that I haven't been able to explore is that would it take a PowerPoint file just on a USB. Now a lot of the cheaper models on the market can actually uh, read PowerPoint right away. So I believe it does have that function. The problem is what kind of an app that you need to download onto this uh, PicoPix Max. Now it is run on an Android. So if you find an APK app online that can work with a PowerPoint, you can certainly install it, you know, putting it on a USB, plug it in and install it. That would be one way to go to do it to run your, uh, your PowerPoint strictly from your USB if you are bringing your laptop along with you uh, for whatever reasons then you plug it in it will work just fine so uh, that's my conclusion for its productivity and it's how it looks in a brighter room and if you like this video uh, click like and you, if you want more uh, features that want, want me to explore for you leave a comment there and as well as subscribing to my new channel thank you very much and again happy new year